can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. If f of x equals x squared plus x, multiply by the quantity x squared plus x plus 1 plus x raised to the power over 5, then what is the numerical value of f of p root of 5 minus 1? Pause the video right now and see if you can answer this question. And if you're done, post your answer in the comment section down below. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. Alright, the question here is given this f of x, which is equivalent to x squared plus x, multiplied by the quantity x squared plus x plus 1, plus x raised to the power over 5, then our goal is simply to evaluate the function where x equals p root of 5 minus 1. Now, how do we answer this kind of question? Now, here's one of the possible solutions for this question. So first, let's get this f of x. Because notice, we can factor out x in this expression x squared plus x. And if we do that, we get x multiplied by x plus 1. So this is very important later on. And for now, let's set aside this result. And what we're going to do is to let x be equal to this expression p root of 5 minus 1. Now, what we're going to do here is to add one on both sides. And we want to eliminate this pip root, so let's raise both sides by 5. So we have x plus 1 raised to the power equals 5. Now, to expand the left-hand side of our equation, we will use what we call the Pascal's triangle. Now, in Pascal's triangle, this first line, this tells us that if we have a plus b raised to the power of 0, this is just 1. And the second line tells us if we have a plus b raised to the power of 1, or the exponent is 1, we have a plus b, which is the coefficient of a and b. And the third line says, if we have a plus b raised to the second power, this is just a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This is the third line, a1, 2, and 1, which is the coefficient of a squared, the coefficient of ab, and the coefficient of b squared. So 1, 2, 1. And this third line says, we have a plus b raised to 3, and we have a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. But we want a plus b raised to the p power. So here it is. Now take note, if we let this x be equal to a and this 1 be equal to b, we can now use this expansion to fully expand the left-hand side of our equation. And if we do that, we get something like x raised to the fifth power plus 5x raised to the fourth power plus 10x cubed plus 10x squared plus 5x plus 1. Now, let's focus on this result. But take note, x here is p root of 5 minus 1. All right. Now, what we're going to do here is to simplify this equation. First, let's subtract 1 on both sides, of course, so the right-hand side becomes 4. Next, 5, 10, 10, and 5 are both multiples of 5. So what we're going to do here is to divide all of this term by 5. Now, your question is, why 5? Because of this term on our f of x. We have x raised to the power over 5. Because if we divide all of this term by 5, we have x raised to the power over 5 plus x raised to the fourth power plus 2x cubed plus 2x squared plus x equals 4 over 5. And now, let's focus on this. See, we have x raised to the power over 5 right over here and we have here x raised to the power over 5. Now, let's focus on this term. What we're going to do here is to factor out x. And then, let's focus on this expression. Inside the parentheses, we have x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now, we will try to factor this out because, take note, if we rearrange some terms a little bit, 2x squared plus 2x is factorable. We have a common factor of 2x. And x cubed plus 1 is also factorable using sum of two cubes. Now, if we factor out 2x in these two terms, we have 2x multiplied by x plus 1. And if we factor out x cubed plus 1 using the sum of two cubes, we have x plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus x plus 1. So let's replace this x cubed plus 1 with its factored form. And then, notice we have a common factor of x plus 1. Now, let's factor out its common factor. And then, let's combine like terms. But before that, let's focus on this result. And let's combine like terms terms. And if we do that, we get x plus 1 multiplied by x squared plus x plus 1. This is this term 
inside the parentheses. So let's replace this. And now, let's focus on this result. Technically speaking, this part right over here is just f of x. So this is just f of x. So we can say that f of x is simply equal to 4 over 5, right? This is f of x, and this is equivalent to 4 over 5. Now, we know also that we let x a while ago as p root of 5 minus 1. Therefore, if we replace this x with this value, p root of 5 minus 1, we get that f of p root of 5 minus 1 simply equal to 4 over 5. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, if f of x equals x squared plus x multiplied by x squared plus x plus 1 plus x to the p power over 5, without replacing all x with p root of 5 minus 1, we get that f of p root of 5 minus 1 equals 4 over 5. And as always, we are done.